hi guys good to see you welcome back again to my video my name is Rachel and if you're new please go ahead and subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification button so that you never miss a new video when I drop it today I'm showing you 10 good natural fat burners you can use at home without exercise without diet these are proved to work by me because I use them and they work for me and I believe they could help you as well so if you're that person who finds it very difficult to keep an exercise routine and keep by it and keep it like yeah daily then this is the video for you stay around let me take you through the ingredients that i'm gonna use in these 10 natural fat burners so roughly guys these are the gonna be some of the ingredients i'm gonna use in these 10 drinks i'm just gonna show them randomly to you there's garlic here there's some ginger there's some uh, vinegar apple cider vinegar to be specific and this one i made it my own though it's in that bragg's bottle and there's a video about it when I made it. Uh, this is a uh, turmeric powder, some honey, natural honey, some cinnamon right there, some cayenne pepper, green tea, of course, a lemon. <laughs> yeah, and uh, right here I have oranges in that basket, but let me leave it rest there. I also need some oranges and orange peels and that's it guys we're gonna get started so first off guys hi <laughs> so to begin off I'm gonna I'm in a very weird shape because I'm shooting in a very weird angle but don't mind me and uh, don't mind all those wires running around because I am not in the kitchen I'm at the dining table I needed to do it here so I'm gonna begin off with my first and very favorite they are all my favorite but yeah sometimes you just have to choose so you're just gonna boil a cup of water you're just gonna switch off switch on the heat and you're just gonna turn it up this is not a good pan i think this is not yeah it is wait a minute I think this is not meant for this kind of cooking plate. Let me get a pan that is meant for that. Let's see if this one will stop making noise. Yeah, that stopped making noise. <laughs> so if you put a wrong pan, this this cooking plate, induction plate won't work. So I thought I would cheat today, but no, the cooking plate is smarter than me. Anyways, let's add our water. It's so one cup of water. And this right here is our green tea you can use any green tea of your choice but you come across this is the green tea that I'm gonna use and the ingredients in this green tea are green tea cinnamon ginger cardamom and oh there's another spice called crowd naho I will look for it in that in that is Dutch crowd naho but in English I'm gonna put a word for it there so here they say use one teaspoon and one cup of hot water that's it nothing else it's as simple as that because everything has been mixed in this one little pot let's wait for that to cook and when it's done boiling at boiling point we'll add our green tea and that is a good magic fat burner guys green tea and by the way it's not nasty it's very delicious and you can always drink this maybe at tea time in the evening when you're relaxing at the, at the couch or when you're going to bed so guys embrace green tea i do drink lots of green tea if i showed you i do drink self a lot of green tea if i showed you my green tea cabinet like where i keep my teas you be like oh my god rich this girl why does she have so much tea i have a lot of green tea because it's healthy it helps you with weight loss and management so why not have it i mean it's not as nasty as other things it's not also as hard having green tea in the house as as working out you know i love to work out but i know sometimes it can be really hard anyways our water is about to cook let's get back to it let's 
The good thing with this, I should turn it up. It cooks quicker. I've turned it up to the maximum, so it's gonna cook very, very fast. We're gonna reduce it a bit because now it is it's overcooking because of high temperature. I've reduced the temperature. Let me put it a little bit up, and then we are gonna add in a teaspoon. They said. Of this green tea that's what it looks like the green tea if I could zoom in a little bit that right there that's green tea just add it to the boiling water like I said it has everything already mixed in so you don't need to add anything else. This is just one concoction that is full and ready to be drunk. And let it boil. At, uh, now you reduce the temperature to two so it can nicely boil slower so that all the nice and goodness gets into your solution because you're going to remove uh, the loose tea leaves. The good thing with this kind of loose herbal tea, it's not fermented. That's a good magic about it. Now at this moment you're just gonna mix a little bit. It smells so good guys, it really smells. The aroma is so perfect and I'm sure my husband is waiting for this upstairs on the computer because he's uh, up on the computer. Just gonna surprise him with this nice lovely cup of green tea. And that's how I managed to keep my husband's tummy tempt because I give him all these concoctions and likely luckily he really likes them he drinks them without any trouble so we are good to go I manage that in that way so let me now it's ready we're going to like sieve it out so that we remove the, the tea leaves I'm gonna reduce that a little bit to the lower let me get that sieve above right there there is a sieve that I like to use that one so let's just get our tea that has cooked. Like that. See? And you notice that when the, the green tea leaves go into the water, they already become big. Because when they're dry, they're all small. Now they're all big. So let's quickly rinse out this pan because we're going to use it. Don't mind about those leaves. I just take them out and dump them in the bin. And your tea is nicely done. Remove. Just gonna remove this sieve. And remember, this was this was one cup, one teaspoon of green tea. We're just gonna add one teaspoon of honey. and just mix it up nicely and there you go you have your nice cup of green tea for fat burning and I'm gonna give this to my lovely husband Hi. want a cup of green tea? Oh. Block tea? Block tea? Yeah? Kate? Yeah. Thank you, Aloha. 
Graag gedaan. Doei. Nou, Hi guys, that was the first a fat burner uh, drink that I made for you guys. I hope you liked it and I hope you're gonna try it out. Now number two is gonna be another one. Now let's go ahead and make number two a fat burning drink that you're all gonna love. I'm sure most of you are gonna like this one. Hi guys, this next drink we need warm water that is already pre-cooked this is pre-cooked water i've already cooked it up to a hundred degrees with a, i monitored it using this thermostat so no issues and make sure you already turn on your heat so that should be enough And at this point you're just gonna pick your orange and you're gonna chop this orange into slices gonna just chop the orange into thin slices like that normally with fruit I can't resist from eating a bit of this <laughs> it's like calling me and telling oh Rachel pick a slice of me <laughs> hi Let's go ahead. There you go. And then at this point, you're just gonna add your orange slices into the water so that short after that, the water, I'm gonna increase the temperature now. The water is gonna boil and you're gonna bo want to boil this for about two to three minutes you don't have to over boil it that will be enough because the water was already hot Increase it a little bit. While it's cooking, you just want to give it a little stir.
and you want to just press in the oranges to just give a little breeze on that orange so that you extract also some orange juices from the slices And this drink, once it's, uh, it's cooked, you can drink it warm or you can drink it cold or cooled down. Guys, uh, this simple in life how we overlook simple things in life and we think it's it's magic to achieve certain things yet you overlook things you have in your house that can help you achieve certain things and you think maybe things co bought expensively or things done by other people are the ones which produce results no that's not true things are in your reach they're in your home you look at them every day but you i think you eat them differently because now to achieve results you're not going to only drink one drink of this and you think you're going to get yourself uh, 10 kilos lost. No, you have to like create some routine of drinking this uh, kind of concoctions. Now it's all nicely cooked. What we're going to do, we're just going to add in just a hint of cinnamon. cinnamon. You're just going to get the cinnamon and put a little bit on a spoon and add it in not too much just just a little look at that Now at this moment, our drink is nicely cooked. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna get a cup. This is your cup. You're gonna turn down that heat. It has a sieve, but you're gonna take out this sieve because you don't need it. What you're going to do is get the slices because this drink you're just gonna let it sit for another 10 minutes while you've covered it so that now all that nice components you want for your weight loss nicely get formed and are kept in the solution that you're going to drink because at the end of the day you're not gonna eat up these oranges their purpose ends after they are boiled out and all the nutrients get out but to complete our concoction, you're just gonna get this concoction and pour it in your nice big cup and preferably the cup should have a cover. Look at that. First switch off that heat. Once we've switched it off, look at that. This is what our drink looks like. If you can see properly. That's what it looks like. If I put it right here, hope it doesn't pour out and try to zoom in for you. Like that. That's what it looks like. And like I said, cover it up for another 10 to 20 minutes because it's hot anyway. You can't drink it up like that. So we're going to keep this aside and wait until it is cooled down and then you can drink it. You can also add in a little bit of a spoon of honey if you want or you can drink it up like this because oranges are sweet so it's already sweet on its own so there may not actually be a need sorry about the shaking of the camera there may not actually be a need of uh, adding honey to this so let's keep this away and get cooking our third concoction which is a natural weight fat burner so guys we're gonna keep this lovely cup of tea away the cup says party all night 
so it's very big it's almost half a liter so as you drink this be sure you're gonna visit the toilet a lot which is good because you need to excrete anyway so that's no problem but i advise you to drink this over the day because at night you'll be running to the toilet a lot and you don't want to disturb your sleep when you're sleeping so it's better you drink this during the day anyway so we're gonna keep this away for about 10 to 20 minutes so that it nicely goes ahead and brews and once it's nicely brewed we're gonna enjoy this cup of orange cinnamon tea very good for your weight loss so let's go ahead and see the third and see how we're gonna make the third concoction which is a natural fat burner it's gonna help you guys and it's up to you to choose which one you think your taste will really like or favor but for me I love all of them so let's get cooking let's get to see the third one so now our third drink is gonna be based on apple cider vinegar very good component of weight loss very very good and to be specific don't get the table vinegar get the apple cider vinegar with the mother in it and if you can make it even the better so like we started to turn on the heat turning on the heat adding a cup of water if you're making enough for entire family then you put in enough water but i always make for myself so one cup is just enough. You know, fruits are very good in weight loss programs. So you never go wrong with the fruits. Never, 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 never go wrong. So what we're gonna do here, that's why I have mine here ready because I use them a lot in my concoctions. So once the water is about to cook, because this is a, a very fast cooking plate, it's induction, so we don't need to wait a long time. Here I have some mandarins, and I have some uh, kiwis. So that is gonna be my concoction for this time. You're gonna cut up a kiwi, like you can see, and you're gonna peel it. People like to use a spoon to scrape it, but I like to peel it and take off that cover. I'm just gonna use a half of it. you peeled it throw away the cover you're gonna just chop it into small pieces because this one you're gonna leave it in your solution in your drink you're not gonna throw it away because you can actually eat it up so you're just gonna chop into tiny pieces and it's gonna be the first one you're gonna throw into your cooking water it's really bubbling let me reduce the temperature to about six was really high at 18 once you put in your kiwi that's when you're gonna get your mandarin you just need now a cover of this one nothing else just get careful if you can peel like me peel off a cover of it As you can see that's why I reduce the temperature so that doesn't uh, dampen it like cook and reduce so quickly those ones I'm cutting them big because you're gonna remove them after the water has boiled and cooked up nicely but the kiwis you have to leave them in so that's done now allow that to cook up sorry allow that to cook up Usually I drink these things and my family are looking at me like, are you crazy? But I know what I'm doing. <laughs> and then those who are saying, are you crazy? They're the ones who have pot bellies and me, I'm enjoying my nice flat tummy. <laughs> Anyways. So that is cooking. And that's what it looks like, by the way. Once you allow it boil, now you, you see that the kiwi is turning from green. Right here, if you see the kiwi is nice and green, if you compare with the kiwis in the water, they have turned color. That's because all the nice vitamin C is being drained down and going into your water. Don't, and the solution is don't overboil these things because now when you overboil, you're going to destroy all the nice goodness in those solutions. So about two to three minutes, especially if you're cooking on a very high 
uh, cooking plate like this you don't need to cook it for long and now once it's cooked we're just gonna get our apple cider vinegar this one like i said i made it myself it has the mother if you see that murky solution at the bottom don't mind about it just shake the bottle it's very good for you you need that yes it should be murky like that and now at that moment we're just gonna add two teaspoons of apple cider vinegar Add that like that. We're gonna mix it up. And then allow this to boil for another one minute. And this one you should actually drink it hot. Hot, 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 hot. You should drink it hot because it is gonna help you increase your metabolism so that it can burn up that nice fat that you have stored under your belly under your arms wherever it is that's what the purpose of this drink is gonna do so now it's been about a minute i'm gonna give it one final stir then 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 i'm gonna take out the peels from the citrus fruit because these ones at this moment their job is done their job is done and we're gonna take it out one last one yes this is the end of this their purpose is done we're gonna throw them away so we're just gonna turn off the heat that's done and we're just gonna get our cup Cup right here and we're just gonna turn pour this in so in the morning instead of drinking milk or I don't know what if you're on a diet or if you want to cut some kilos you could skip the milk and this could be your breakfast tea works very well for weight loss and that's it you could add some honey in here actually that will go very nice if you added in some honey that's what I'm gonna do right now get a, a bit of honey one teaspoon is enough not more oh I need to open it up it's going hard because it's not open yeah now it's open it goes easier and that's why you're gonna add it here and just mix it up that's why I said you can actually eat these kiwi fruits you have to leave them in there these pieces are edible you can eat them not throw them away so that is your third solution for weight loss as a weight loss burner this is really 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 working it works for me it will work for you it's really reliable but as i'm said it should be a routine it's not a one day thing it's one it's not a one off thing it should be a routine so i'm putting this aside so that's what it looks like the kiwis go on and settle at the bottom that's no problem you can always drink it with a, a little spoon so that you can scoop out the kiwis from the bottom and eat them at the end of the day we're going to go ahead and make fat burner number five and that's going to be based on ginger let's get cooking so first off you're going to get your ginger this is my ginger mine mine get yours and i'm just going to get a piece of it and this i'm just going to use this grater and then just grate it into the pan and once i have grated it enough for just one cup that should be enough just for one cup 
you don't need to to do by the way you don't need to throw away the, the mandarin that you use the peel you can also eat it up no need to waste and now from that we're just going to turn on our heat oh i, I have to move the thing from the socket yeah <clears throat> Now we're just gonna first add just enough water for one cup. Turn on the heat. Once you've turned on the heat, you're going to get your lemon. You could even, by the way, use limes in this recipe. We're just gonna chop off just a bit this part and just gonna squeeze it in your water. And then let it come to a boiling point. Increase the temperature, maybe to boil up quicker. Now that was really fast, it's boiling up too quick. Now let me reduce it a little bit. If I was not there in time, it would have cooked over. So, give it a little mix. Now, if you have fresh mint, you can add in some fresh mint, but I don't feel like going outside, it's raining heavily and the fresh mint is somewhere in the tool shed. So I'll skip the fresh mint in this one this time around. And the way this drink is right here, it's already good on its own and we're just gonna leave it like that. No tampering with it, that's enough. The only thing you can do right here is to add in some honey. Okay guys, so this drink is done. You just wanna sieve it. We're just gonna put it in this cup. All you're gonna do is just put it right here. Now turn off the heat. Because it's now cooked. And Excuse me, the table is a bit full, and we're just gonna add this to our cup. And this one you can drink it cold. That's the beauty of this drink. You can chill it in the fridge and drink it cold. No problems. See? looks like now cover it up let it cool down and you can just shove it in the fridge for drinking later instead of water you pull out this one and drink this it's clear that's the beauty of it you can just drink it as water to quench your thirst so let's put this aside go wash up our pan one is just gonna be this one from these leaves I don't have a name on this tin but these are called a is a crowd in Dutch but I'll look up the word in English also very very good for fat loss so the trick here is just adding for one cup you just add 
just a few leaves one two three four five six seven eight that should be enough but i like my tea a bit strong nine ten so just add those few leaves this is what they look like these are Asa crowd uh, blushes or oh, leaves but I'm gonna look up the word in English for you guys English speakers when I came to Holland my English is really diminishing so these are dried leaves you can also use them for tea and good for weight loss guys oh that's why I buy a big pot like this so and then you just add water here these recipes are so simple with just no more ingredients in the kitchen nothing special and that's one cup i think i just eyeball my my things i don't keep uh, strict measurements and to these guys the only thing you can add is honey nothing more nothing less honey and you're good to drink this just like it is now i'm just gonna yeah pump it up a little bit because it's 20 so it can boil up quick that's drink number five after this we are left with one based on garlic another one based on turmeric so those are five six seven the other one based on celery and the other one based on cayenne pepper and the other one be based on cannel so keep around we're gonna see all that it was not dry leaves are cooking up and you see how they also swell up when they get into water lovely and with these you don't need to really boil them a lot because you just want to let this brew up in your cup for about 10 to 15 minutes and so at that point we're just gonna turn off the heat we just turn it low completely And preferably with a cover let's get this one see if you can read what is on top that one with careful it's hot you have to always be careful with hot things and you're just gonna add this here I'm gonna add this to this once the leaves can't get out, don't worry. If you're brave enough, get them with your clean hand. Just turn this off. Stops making noise for us and just prop it into your cup. Then with a tea spoon, prop the leaves nicely in, like that. And then once you prop them nicely in, you're supposed to cover with all that warmth and the heat into your cup and leave this sit somewhere for about 15 minutes to 10 minutes and then you can add, add uh, honey and then yeah, you're ready to drink your drink like a cup of tea as uh, this can be a replacement for coffee, cup of tea or porridge, whatever you want to replace it with but this is a, a very uh, a healthier variation of a drink because it's purposely for cutting down weight so let's put this aside so
Hi guys, so we're going to go ahead and prepare fat burner number six. So next up guys is gonna be based our next fat burner is gonna be based on cayenne pepper and cayenne pepper is particularly good because it's gonna suppress your appetite so that you don't go eating a lot and that is also very good in your goal of weight loss and also what it does it also improves your metabolism so that you can get to burn up all that food very fast and it's also a very good element in weight loss so let's get to see how that is gonna be made main ingredient is this so we're just gonna turn on our heat And we're gonna just add some cayenne pepper add it in just a half a half a teaspoon is, is enough once you've added that in Let it, let it come to a boil a bit. How much? Yeah, a ten. That is okay. Once that is done, you're just gonna add some turmeric. It's about to come to boil. These are both powders. You're just gonna add a bit of this powder. Add it in there. So they can come to a boil at the same time and then we just gonna take our ginger again and grate it in mm, i like the aroma is so nice it's so rich because this is for one cup I always just eyeball my things but if you want measurement then I can always give you measurement this, this uh, concoction has three three ingredients and that's it that's the magic three the magic is in its simplicity you don't need to make it so complicated so let this boil up and that is your fat burner number seven is it six i lost count we shall find out <laughs> you're gonna get your cup you're gonna turn off the heat first of all give it one final stir so that whatever is on the sides can come off And we're gonna also pour this without sieving it just pour it in because whatever is in there is just gonna settle to the bottom look at that nice color the color of cayenne pepper has taken over because i thought the color of turmeric will be the dominant one but it looks like the color of cayenne has taken over in this type in this case cover it and that's you're good to go that's your fat burning drink super cool uh, very effective it really works I drink this a couple of times a month I don't have a specific one because I like all of them I, so I just drink whatever I feel like at the moment there you go that's your other natural fat burner so let's put that on the side looks like it's a bit reddish a bit of a confused color between Cayenne and yet I put in just a little bit of cayenne and uh, a little bit of uh, turmeric, but it looks like cayenne is more powerful, it has taken over. So, we're gonna go ahead and make fat burner number eight, it's gonna be based on celery. Just add water to your pan again, just one cup of water is enough. Just chop up your celery into very tiny pieces. And 
that's for one serving it's enough This is coriander. I don't know if you can read. Coriander. If I can zoom in for you. That's coriander. So I'm just gonna get a few leaves of it since I'm doing only one serving. I don't need a lot. And I'm just gonna chop them up here quickly on the board. And this is I made this video because these things are not are not having that like such a great taste. And once your coriander and your celery are cooking, at that moment you're just gonna add in just one teaspoon of vinegar, and that's it. Nothing more, nothing less. Don't add anything else. That's your concoction. Now let it boil, and once it's boiled, it's ready to be drunk, just like that. And if you have a good taste, you could also eat up those. If you don't want, you can throw them away. The water alone has enough. What we're to do has enough of what you need to lose weight. And once your concoction has cooked up, let it cook up, you can just give it a mix while it cooks. This one you want to let it cook a little bit longer because of the size of the celery. You want to make sure the solution contains all the goodness from the celery so you have to let it cook a little bit longer. And now it's been Christmas and festive days so people tend to eat up uh, all the unhealthy things and overeat so this this comes in handy at this moment it could really help be helpful to some people who uh, put on some or who ate a lot of christmas calories <laughs> instead of christmas carols who overindulged in christmas calories so these are gonna be good fat burning uh, concoctions for those people now looks like it's nicely cooked up oh one more forget I almost forgot to spice up this because this you take it some, not something like you know what they call bouillon in, in English I'll look up the word in English so you could add some uh, chicken uh, stock to it because this is more like 
not a soup, but just a little bit of it. Don't add so much. Add some bouillon uh, powder. I'll look up the word. Like I said, my English words are escaping me now. I know much of the words in Dutch than even in English. And then when it's cooked, turn off the heat. And you're gonna put your concoction nicely in your drinking soup cup. Like that. Whatever is left stuck in there, you can get them away with a cup. Now, you can drink this anytime. But mostly if you feel like a cup of soup but you want a healthier version and then you can drink this i advise that you drink this while it's really warm because it also helps you especially on cold days mm. it tastes quite nice but it's really hot yeah you just want to allow it to cool a bit but the trick is to take it when it's still warm so that it can Nicely warm your body up. I quite actually like this one, the taste. Mm -hmm. So that is another natural fat burner. This was more like a soup or a broth, something like that. But it's also very good for weight loss. So that's what it looks like. And when you mix it up, it becomes a bit... And when it settles, that's what it looks like. This is very good stuff, guys. Hope you try it and let me know in the comment section below. I love it. So let's put this on the side and go ahead and make our fat burner, natural fat burner number nine. Now we're just going to peel up a small sized carrot. Small sized carrot. And you're just going to chop it up into tiny tiny pieces. Add it to your cooking water with garlic. This drink is gonna be more like a broth, just like the one we've just finished doing with the uh, celery. You can use this as a broth. And then still we get our coriander. Garlic, guys, is also very, very good and advisable for weight loss. I know people don't like it because of its strong smell. But yeah, medicine is medicine. If it's gonna help you, then you don't have to mind about the other things, aesthetic things like the smell. If it's gonna heal you, then just take it. Okay? And then the magic here, guys. We're gonna add in a teaspoon of Tabasco. Now, if you don't like spicy things, then you skip the Tabasco. But this is also very very good in increasing your metabolic rate so that your body can get to burn up all that food that you've eaten just add a teaspoon of tabasco and once you're done and your your nice broth is cooking up we're gonna get again
get one teaspoon of bouillon powder add it to your cooking solution mix it <coughs> let it cook I'm coughing because of the Tabasco <laughs> once you put it in water it starts uh, acting as if it's tear gas keep mixing it up whatever you're cooking up this you can I think it's nicely cooked up guys you can use this as a broth to just sip on it before you go on to eat your main meal and this also serves the purpose of filling up your thermostat when you reach the time of eating you don't overeat and then it also has its elements for weight loss in it and so you'll be able to achieve your goal at the end of the day anyway so let's put this in the cup a soup cup preferably like guys that's what it looks like just get a spoon and sip on it while it's still warm not hot but warm that's another fat burner and the, the pieces of garlic you can eat them if you don't feel like eating them you can of course well dump them away but if you ate them they wouldn't do you any harm okay so let's go ahead and prepare our very very last uh, natural fat burner and so we call it a day after that hi guys and our very 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 last fat burning natural fat burner is gonna be made from this chinese fat burning tea and this is called nanyu nanyu tea i don't know if you can see it i'm trying to zoom in can you read it it's in dutch but the first one is called nanyu tea it's fat dissolving tea and this one you can just drink it on its own but as you know me i like to create my own recipes i'm gonna go ahead and create for you what i usually make of this fat burning tea so we just get as so that's what it looks like inside as you can see it's just dried up chinese tea so you just get a spoon of it a very small spoon of it not so much our water is nicely cooked up we're just going to turn down the temperature just get a small spoon of it like this that should be enough we add it to the cooking water let it boil lemon you just want a, the peel lemon peel of it add it on and right there on the screen you can see the very benefits of lemon peels in weight loss then you understand why I'm doing this so that should be enough
decide it, you're gonna love it. I bought it from an African shop right here in, where, in the place where I live. And I really like it, my husband likes it, and everybody who has tried it likes it. And I'm sure you would also like it. I don't know if you can get it wherever you are, but I'm gonna show you. ingredients uh, cane sugar glucose honey maltose and fructose i know somebody would say oh that's too much sugar or what but it depends how often you take some sugar is also very good for your muscles that one you know it but if you take too much